This demonstration is going to demonstrate how um, the uh, new classify tool works in MarkEdit. Classify tool utilizes the CLC's um, experimental classify services to generate either um, Dewey Decimal or Library of Congress classification suggestions. So let's go ahead and see how one works. Go ahead and open a file in the Mark Editor. I have a small file here with a handful of records in them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this record and I'm going to go ahead and insert an 050 into it. So what we do is we look for uh, generate call numbers here. When you run it for the very first time, you get an OCLC agreement. These are <coughs> this is a tool that utilizes OCLC's web service, so there are um, an agreement that OCLC asks you to sign in terms of terms of use. As long as you can agree to that, and there's a link that will take you to them. Just tell it I agree, and you get the uh, um, access to the classification service. I'm going to. Um, we have different um, options. There's an add to selected records. So if you were to select an entire mark record in the mark editor um, and ask to generate call numbers, you would check that option. I'm looking to do it in all records. So I'm going to leave it checked there. So that's going to look at the entire uh, file. I select by classification I'm interested in. I'm going to leave it at Library of Congress. <coughs> I can have it calculate cutters and dates. Cutters are generated um, three deep. Uh, dates are used from the 008 as long as the uh, <coughs> date that's being pulled is an undefined date, so it has to be a number. Uh, finally, we have two additional fields, uh, or we have this uh, option to use subfield Z for matching. This is um, subfield Z in the ISBN, ISSN, and the 776 field. Um, they're only used if no other matches are found, and you can deter decide whether or not you want to use them for the purposes, excuse me, for the purposes of matching um, records. Finally, there are two additional options. One is to insert um, the classification as long as a specific set of fields isn't uh, present. In this case, you can determine um, what those fields are, and you can do it by delimiter. I'm going to insert. Uh, these classifications as 050 fields, so I'm going to tell it that if there's an 050 present, not to insert the generated classification. I'm going to tell it that I want to insert the found classification into the 050 field, and then I just tell it to classify. Mark Edit will now go through, and it will ping the OCLC web service, and it will process the individual request, and then when it's finished, it will generate here for you, and so you can see that uh, an 050 has been generated. Um, we can see that there's an 051 in this record, uh, it's a sample, and you can see the OCLC record generated, uh, generated generates the stem here, classification service generated 3 deep, and then the date which is pulled out of the 008 field. And those are going to be the same, um, use the same criteria for all of these, so we can see uh, the different different classifications that were generated. So here, um, the classification that had been created uh, in this particular record, they went longer than three deep. Um, mark edit goes three deep. So, so that gives you an example um, of how you find the classification service. Again, the classification service is found under in the mark editor under generate call number, um, and how you use it. Um, here in the near future the classification service will also show up under the uh, tools directory here in the main screen and that'll be a, a standalone tool that will interact with um, a selected file. But for now it's not here. Um, but just uh, since I imagine that the, this will live on um, past the time when it does get added, um, at some point there will be an option uh, from the main window to um, capture uh, the uh, batch classification, but for now, um, the only place where you can find it is through the Mark Editor under Tools and Generate Call Numbers. Okay.